Hey, what's going on, guys? Deuce and here. Come back at you another video. And LSU, LSU uh, has uh, named. They found their offensive coordinator and their passing game coordinator. So uh, they two spots that they needed filled. But before I get started, make sure you subscribe to the channel, ring the notification bell, click all notifications. If uh, if you're new to the channel, also give the video a thumbs up. <clears throat> I do a lot of videos on here and live streams. But all right, so LSU, of course, 2019. Uh, Joe Brady was on staff, and he then he, in turn, at the at the 2019 went to Carolina Panthers. So, so uh, LSU had to uh, get a new passing game coordinator last year. Scott Linehan didn't work out. Vince Maker retired after. I mean, he's been with he's been with LSU forever. Uh, he played at LSU back in the seven late 70s. Um, and he's been on he was he's been on staff for a very 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 long time. So uh, Steve Vince Maker retired. Uh, Curious to see if he stays on as a as an analyst. Uh, I know all, all these schools have analysts and all that kind of crap, but uh, but he is uh, so he so so LSU needed to go get new guys and they did. They got uh, they got this guy uh, Jake Peets from Carolina. Uh, he uh, he's been in the NFL for about ten years. In the NFL. He's been a uh, quarterback coach, running back coach at Carolina this past season. He's been offense. He's been an offensive assistant coach for several teams: Jacksonville, Redskins, and the Raiders. I said the Redskins because they were Redskins then. <clears throat> at that point, anyway. So, uh, and uh, Joe Brady. No, Joe Brady's act. Joe Brady's one that actually uh, recommended him to Ed Ogeron. So I think, I think uh, this. I think LSU had his uh, their sights set on this guy. For uh, for a while now, they just had to wait till the NFL season ended. NFL season just course just ended this past weekend, so now all these coaches in the NFL are available to get poached. And that's I think this I think this is I think um, I, like I said what, what I'm trying to think what I, what I want to try to say here. I mean what what would get me excited? I mean I, I really don't I mean I really don't know I don't know, I don't know if this excites me or not. Uh, having Joe Brady recommend him. Uh, makes me feel, hey, this might be, this might work out. This might work out. A young guy, almost offensive mind, uh, and just, 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 let's just do what we did in 2019. Give the ball to our playmakers. Of course, we're gonna have to have a quarterback to do that. Hopefully, Max Johnson uh, or T.J. Finley or Miles Brennan, one of those guys is going to be the starter. I assume one of those guys will transfer out. Uh, I just don't see LSU keeping all three of them. This day and age in college football, but hopefully, uh, hopefully uh, Jake Peets can uh, find a quarter, find the quarterback that can lead his offense. And also, they have a passing game coordinator. LSU hired all these teams have passing game coordinators. It's, it's become a thing last like ten years, but it's just become more. Nor I mean, pe people are starting to uh, notice the name more. To this passing game coordinator before you didn't you, you hell you didn't know who the hell they were, but uh, DJ Mangus he was actually with LSU last year 2019 as an office of analyst he went with Joe Brady to the Panthers and uh, <clears throat> was one of his uh, assist, assistant coaches over there on the offensive side of the football. So another guy LSU LSU actually tried to keep this guy last year. Uh, I think they I think they wanted to make him the passing game coordinator last year. It just didn't work. I guess I guess maybe timing didn't work out, whatnot. But he's back now in Baton Rouge, so he will be the passing game coordinator. So DJ Mangus and Jake Peets, there's your guys. That's going to lead LSU's offense in 2021. I thought the offense was, uh, you know, considering considering everything that transpired with Jamar Chase opting out, Miles Brennan getting hurt, and Terrace Marshall uh, opting out. You know, lighter part of the year, also Eric Gilbert. Eric Gilbert also opted out latter part of the year. I thought the offense actually did pretty well last year, considering everything. It was just a defense. And that's one thing LSU needs to find now is a defensive coordinator. As uh, I was told that uh, that they're, they're probably they're probably going to look at that guy from Cincinnati, Freeman from Cincinnati. But a lot of guys a, a lot of guys are going to be looking <coughs> at him. That's the defensive coordinator at the Cincinnati Bearcats. Of course, the Bearcats had a phenomenal season this year. So a lot of guys, a lot of teams, maybe NFL and college, are going to be looking at this guy. So LSU needs to uh, 
know, if they want, uh, if, if they really want this guy, I think he's supposed to interview with them Thursday. Uh, make, make him a, make him an offer that he cannot refuse. I mean, uh, so make him an offer that he cannot refuse. But uh, so we got we got two we got two things we got two uh, two uh, two coaches down locked in barrel. Jake Peets, DJ Mangus. There's your offensive coordinator and your passing game, passing game specialist, whatever you want to call them. But uh, hopefully, hopefully next year will be a better year for LSU. They finished five and five on the season. Of course, they won the last two games against Florida and Ole Miss, so it ended on a good note. But uh, just, uh, I mean, I didn't expect a title last year for LSU at all. But I just, I never expected to lose to Missouri. And Mississippi State, and I didn't expect the defense to be so horrible last year, historically bad last year. So hopefully they can get those changes done. But got to get got to get a guy here on the defense. But uh, we'll see uh, what happens on that. Hopefully they can get that locked up uh, by the weekend. I mean, I, just offer to offer to guy offer to Freeman and see what he see if he bites. I mean, he might he might want the job. He might want to move up. And get in the power five, and then move on, move on from there, and be head coach. That's fine. It's not nothing wrong, nothing wrong with that. Having a, a revolving door of coaches, as long as they're successful. You know, if they're successful and getting to the next level, you're gonna see more guys wanting to come to your to your program because they know that they their chances of moving on are good. So it's not it's not, it's not all bad. Uh, losing coach. Hey, look, Saban, Nick Saban does it all the time. Saban does Saban does it all the time, and he play you replaces coaches. And they get hired, so hey, nothing wrong with that. So uh, we'll see what happens. Have a good one, guys. Go Tigers.